Hello. This video will cover the latest features available in the 4.0.1 release of CN Maestro. The release of CN Maestro 4.0.1 is now available. In this release, we have expanded the Assists feature to include enterprise Wi Fi access points. We have also added a Microsoft Azure login portal and a sponsored guest portal. This release adds logic to Wi-Fi radio channel configuration options by allowing only certain channels to be available as required by the country the access point is located in. There are several new features added to the NSE. You are able to create application control filters and then apply those filters to groups based on a subnet IP address. Also, you are able to configure port forwarding rules using a port number range, and you can configure the NSE to utilize the DHCP supplied DNS servers. You can import IPsec certificates for RADIUS server clients. And finally, we have included a tech support dump file for the 5G fixed wireless companies used for troubleshooting purposes. Please note that I have added timestamps next to the individual features so that you can quickly review those features at a later date. In this release, Cambium extends our Assist feature to include the enterprise access points. Assist is a solution for monitoring the health of Cambium Network's products and remediating issues that are detected. Assist scans the network configuration every 24 hours and generates an Assist score. CN Maestro evaluates specific issues that might occur during the device deployment and summarizes the scores and results of the finding at the system, network, site, and device level. Recommended remediation actions are provided. The Assist scores are shown in percentage values and allow users to isolate issues in the configuration of their infrastructure devices. To find the Assist page, go to Monitor and Manage, and then on the toolbar at the top, go to the far right and you will find Assist. You can sort by device type to focus on only the enterprise Wi Fi access points or any other product. To narrow the focus of the assists, click Apply Filters, and you are able to filter the devices using the status, severity, type, title, category, or group criteria. Click any of the failed, passed, or enabled buttons at the top of the page to narrow the focus of the page to only the devices that currently match the selected criteria. Then click on the title of any of the assist entries to drill down into the information. You will be redirected to the Devices page that has a description of the item. The Details page will offer a recommended remediation action. CN Maestro has added support for Microsoft Azure authentication. Corporations will be able to leverage their existing Microsoft Active Directory structure, which enables users to authenticate using their Microsoft Active Directory credentials. This feature simplifies the login process for users who have an existing Active Directory account, while also providing security to the network. An end user will only gain access to the network, to the Microsoft Azure environment, and to local network resources after they have successfully logged in using their Active Directory credentials. To configure the Microsoft Azure Access Portal, go to Network Services, Guest Access Portal, and open an existing Guest Access Portal. Then go to Access and Enterprise, select Microsoft Azure, and then enable Microsoft Azure Login. A domain administrator will need to authorize this portal in order to leverage the Active Directory infrastructure. After authorizing the portal, 
the administrator will need to enter information such as his email address, the Azure primary domain, the allowed domains, and the allowed groups. He can also configure device limits per end user, client session durations and renewal frequencies, and he can also place rate limits and quota limits on the clients. Also, in this release of CN Maestro, we have introduced a sponsored guest authentication guest access portal. This feature allows guests to gain access to the network by filling out their sponsor's email address and waiting for approval before authenticating to the Wi-Fi network. This is particularly useful for organizations that need to manage guest access to their networks as it provides an additional layer of security and ensures that only authorized guests can access the network. To configure the Sponsored Guest Access Portal, go to Network Services, Guest Access Portal, open an existing Guest Access Portal, and then go to the Access page. Now go to the Enterprise page and click Sponsored Guests, and then enable the Sponsored Guest Portal, and then you will need to enter the domain of the sponsors that will be able to grant access for the guests. You can also configure the client session duration and a downlink and uplink rate limit and even place a client quota limit. Also included in this release of CN Maestro is our dynamic channel listings based on the country the AP is located in. This feature will help network administrators to assign the correct channels for each radio based on the regional legal regulations. For example, different countries have different regulations regarding which wireless channels can be used for Wi-Fi networks, and these regulations can change over time. With dynamic channel listings, CN Maestro can automatically assign the appropriate channels based on the current legal regulations in the region where the access point is installed. This feature can save network administrators time and effort by automating the process of assigning channels, and it can help ensure that their Wi-Fi networks comply with local regulations. Additionally, dynamic channel listings can help optimize network performance by selecting the best channels based on the available spectrum in the region. To review or configure channels on an access point, go to Inventory and select the access point you wish to configure, and then go to the Configuration page. If you scroll down to Device Configuration and in the Advanced Settings section, you can go to the radios you want to configure. In this example, I have selected an XE5-8, that's a 5 radio access point with two software programmable 6 GHz radios. The country code for this access point is the United States, so for radio 2, you can see that we have allocated channels 1 through 93 that are allowed to work on radio number 2 and radio number 3, we're allowed to use channels 129 through 233. The next feature allows application visibility and control based on a source IP or a subnet. To configure the application visibility and control, open your NSE group, go to User Groups, and then click Add New. Give this new user group a name, and now you can configure whether this policy will apply to all subnets or a specific subnet. And then select your application policy. Another new feature in this release is the ability to use ranges of ports when configuring port forwarding. To configure port forwarding, 
go to Configuration, NSC Groups, and open your NSC group. Then go to the Firewall page and scroll down to the Port Forward Rules section and click Add New. Configure the LAN IP address and then configure the range of ports you need to forward with this rule. Configure the protocol, and then configure the protocol ports, and these should be the same numbers that you use when configuring the LAN port range. And another NSE feature included in this release is the ability to use the DNS servers provided by your DHCP server. So open your NSE group, and this feature will be enabled by default. Another feature allows you to download device certificate and private keys to encrypt the communication between devices and VPN clients connecting using IPsec. To download the device certificate and private key to encrypt communication between the device and VPN clients using IPsec, Select the NSC you wish to work with, and then go to the Certificate page. Next, you will just need to browse out to your local system and select the Certificate and Private Key files and download them into the system. This new release of CN Maestro also allows you to acknowledge alarms in bulk instead of having to do it individually. To acknowledge the alarms, Go to the Alarms page, select the alarms you wish to acknowledge, and then click the Bulk Acknowledge button. Okay, this concludes this video highlighting the newest features available in CN Maestro 4.0.1. Thank you for your time and have a great day.